Hey guys, this is Jamie with PC Monkey bringing you a computer repair video today. Uh, right now we have a Samsung Chromebook. It's an XE303C12. Uh, more commonly referred to as a 303C. Uh, these are commonly used in schools. And uh, one of the common issues these computers develop is you lose your trackpad click feature. As you can see here, there's no noise. So the trackpad still works, you can move and double click this way, but your double click feature here is, is gone. Uh, a lot of times, uh, guys that work in schools or whatever, they, they'll think it's broken, they'll replace the palm rest, they'll replace the trackpad, uh, they'll buy replacement parts, but very often, we're going to show you that it's only a matter of particulate building up in here, and you just got to clean it out. So we'll show you how, how to fix this in this video. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. We'll, we, we try to get back to you at least twice a day. Uh, so what we're going to do is flip it over. We're going to start taking out all the uh, screws from the base. As you can see here, the rubber feet have been removed. There's screws underneath them. So keep that in mind when you're taking off the bottom case. A lot of computers actually are hiding screws under the feet, especially with the older models, so you'll see that pretty common. goes a lot faster when you have a magnetized screwdriver, as you can see. Alright, so once you have all the screws taken off, we're going to take our flat metal pry tool, we're going to pry off the bottom case. Oops. Alright, so that comes off. Uh, this is the inside of the computer, the battery. Uh, first of all, with any computer repair, take your battery out right away. Uh, but we kind of have to anyway, because our touchpad is under it. So we're going to remove the battery. It's screwed in with a few screws. Okay, and the port's really easy. Uh, the battery plugs in by just this port right there, and it just uh, pops out. There's nothing to move or, or shift. It, it just comes right out. So you lift the battery up and you just pop it right out like that. So now we have access to our touchpad. Uh, first thing we want to do, there's usually, let me zoom in on this for you so you can see what's going on here. There's usually a piece of tape running along the uh, ribbon cable connector, because uh, this tends to fall out. So we'll take that tape up and do it carefully. I, I always like saving these things. Um, if they put it in here to start with, I usually like saving it and putting it back when I'm done. So the way that this port's connected, is this is a common uh, way that ribbon cables are connected. There's a little plastic tab that folds down to secure the ribbon and you pop it up to release the ribbon. So be very careful with it. It's very breakable and if you do break it, um, good luck finding a replacement and good luck installing it. it it's very difficult. So I'm going to pop that up very carefully and then I'm going to slide my ribbon cable out and then I'm going to put it back down so it doesn't get caught on anything and break. I really don't want to break that. Also, same thing with the tape. I'm going to try to save these aluminum tape things here. Just put the flat head under it, gently roll it out. There, so I'll move that up so I can uh, reapply that when I'm done. Try to do the same with this one. Oh, you don't have to do it with that one, actually. So, these plastic arms here, uh, these are held down to your trackpad by uh, double-sided tape. So we're going to gently, try not to break it, but we're going to try to wedge it out, get it unstuck from the trackpad, so we can get the trackpad out. Okay, so that one's kind of up. Do the next one. Again, trying not to break it. If you do break it, it's not the end of the earth, but... I don't like breaking stuff if I don't have to. All right, so both of those are lifted up. So we're gonna open it up a little bit. We're gonna push down on the trackpad. There. So move these back up. Get those on the right side. Here's our trackpad. That's what we want, so let's zoom out. Now, in order to clean this, we're gonna first of all clean our trackpad. So we're gonna take a cloth, spray some cleaner onto it. I'm going to clean off the edges of this thing. 
oftentimes a lot of particulate gets built up dirt oil spills so we're going to clean off all four edges and then we're going to take that cloth we're going to spray on some more cleaner try to make a point and we're going to get inside inside the trackpad housing and really try to clean out in there very often it's just particulate now if you really got some gunky stuff built up in there and the cleaner doesn't work what you can do sometimes is take a screwdriver or something flat and then really scrape off I'm not sure if you can see that or not but there's a good amount of stuff coming off of that other side's okay this side's pretty bad Flip it around. Yeah, just from years of use, a lot of track pads get this way. They just get kind of gross inside. Yeah, this is really gunked up. See all this stuff coming off of there? All right. Yeah, so there's a good amount of stuff under there. So now what we're going to want to do is take that track pad, make sure you're putting it on the right way. See the ribbon cable under there? So the ribbon cable connector is going to go here. Make sure you don't put it on like this because it looks the same from this angle. So we're going to make sure that we're going to put it all the way up in there and slap it down. And then if you check, I'm not sure if you can hear that or not, but your click feature is back. So we're going to turn this around, put it down, stick these things back onto it. And then you just shut your computer up. So we uh, open that ribbon cable connector again. Be very careful. Again, you don't want to break it. Slide that ribbon back in there. This may take a little, a, f a few tries if you're not used to doing it. And then we bring this back down, put that where it should go. We're gonna grab my tape, put that back over so that doesn't come out. And then you'd re -up, um, reassemble your computer, and again, you can check, and your click feature's back. So that's how you would fix the uh, click feature if you lose it on this computer and on many model computers. Uh, oftentimes, it's just a matter of cleaning that out, uh, repositioning the trackpad up where it should be to give that free reign to actually function. Uh, so if you have any questions or comments, again, please leave them below. We try to get back to you a couple times a day at least. Uh, if you enjoyed do-it-yourself computer repair, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.